In your role as consultants, it is essential that you understand the doctor's needs and patient's expectations when dealing with tooth preparation. The two-striper diamond from Premier Dental is the most technologically advanced tool to express care, realize skill, and exercise judgment when implementing a patient's treatment. Studies from CRA show that two-striper's distinct difference lies in its speed of cut, cooler cut, and length of life. With the Premier Two-Striper Diamond, you are delivering a superior product and technology to your accounts. Before we examine the science behind the two-striper difference, let's briefly review rotary cutting tools in general. There are two main types of dental rotary tools, diamonds and carbides. Diamonds are used for crown and bridge, finishing, polishing, and operative procedures. Diamonds are effective in cutting and shaping the tooth. They do this by abrading or wearing away the tooth structure. Carbide burrs, used primarily for operative and finishing, shear the tooth structure, cutting primarily on their sides. Diamonds cut two to three times faster than carbides, and the grinding energy of diamonds is three times lower. Within the diamond category, there are multi-use diamonds, either bonded or plated, and single-use diamonds. The two-striper diamond is the only truly bonded natural diamond. Its patented bonding design provides optimum cutting performance from a rotary tool. All other manufacturers of dental diamonds use some form of electroplating. What does this mean to the doctor? The two striper's natural diamond crystals are permanently bonded to the shank and will not pull out. There is a uniform distribution and greater concentration of diamond crystals for maximum speed of cut. The highly exposed diamond crystals provide a greater cutting surface, and the low bond height results in more interparticle spacing, resulting in a cooler cut. The superior performance is made possible by the patented high-tech manufacturing process that chemically bonds the diamonds to the instrument shank. On the other hand, the inherent design of electroplated diamonds limits their cutting efficacy and compromises their cutting abilities. Note the difference between the bonded and electroplated diamond. The patented bonding maximizes the exposure of diamond cutting surfaces. Crystals placed evenly and precisely in a uniform matrix are permanently fused to a stainless steel shank. On the other hand, diamond particles on electroplated tools are mechanically trapped in inconsistent plating layers that can either expose too much or too little particle. Some particles are loosely attached and prone to premature dislodgement. When plated diamonds dislodge, the exposed plating matrix burnishes the tooth, generating potentially dangerous levels of heat. Here, in this scanning electron micrograph, we can see the PBS bonded diamond. The difference in diamond spacing is dramatic. Two stripers cut faster and last longer because they put more diamond on the tooth and contain spaces for flushing debris. They cut cooler because they resist clogging, making them more comfortable to the patient. According to the CRA study on rotary tools, aside from being the fastest brand and the brand that 82% of doctors would purchase, two striper diamonds also cut the coolest. This is significant because the more heat generated in the pulp, the greater the damage. Zach and Cohen show that intrapulpal temperature increases of 20 degrees and 30 degrees Fahrenheit cause 60% and 100% of pulpal damage respectively. In another study, Cohen theorized that the heat builds up intrapulpal pressure, leading to the sensation of pain. The cooler cutting tooth striper better preserves the health of the tooth. Now that you understand the manufacturing, bonding, and performance differences among diamonds, let's examine specific shapes and their uses. Dental diamonds are primarily used for crown and bridge, operative preparations, and finishing procedures. Crown and bridge is by far the largest category. The 80-20 rule applies to diamond shapes. 20% of the dental diamonds create 80% of the preps. Crown and bridge diamonds are broadly categorized by shape family and physical description. Some examples of these shape families include rounds, flames, cones, cylinders, and round end tapers. We will soon discover that with just a handful of different shapes, your accounts can do it all. Crown and bridge can be simplified by focusing on two preliminary preparation techniques, breaking contact and establishing depth. Breaking contact can be achieved with any number of thin tip diamonds, flames, cones, round or flat end tapers. They need to be thin enough to break contact without damaging the adjacent teeth. 
depth cuts are typically established with conventional round or round end taper diamonds. The diameter of the tool serves as a depth gauge. Special depth cut burrs featuring calibrated abrasive heads are also available, used primarily for veneer preparation. Once preliminary tooth preparation is complete, the dentist needs to prepare a crown margin around the tooth. This is where the artificial crown will meet the natural tooth structure. Along with the 80-20 rule, the easy thing to remember is that there are four basic crown margins. There is the shoulder, chamfer, bevel, and knife edge. Let's first review the shoulder. The shoulder margin is characterized by a 90 degree gingival finish line with a square internal angle. Anterior crown and bridge often require this kind of finish line. Two striper flat end tapers are the most popular for this kind of margin design. A slight variation of the common shoulder margin is the shoulder modified KR. This is the same as the shoulder with a rounded internal angle. The shoulder modified KR is recommended for CAD CAM restorations and can be prepared with KR tapered and KR cylinder diamonds. The chamfer, the most popular finish line, is essentially a bevel sloping line. The number one selling two striper, the 770.8C, is designed for the chamfer finish line. This is the diamond that was used as the control in CRA's diamond study. Chamfers are suggested for porcelain fused to metal and all ceramic crowns. The third crown margin design is the bevel finish line. It is recommended for tooth preparations with short axial walls where maximum retention is required. The bevel allows an acute edge of metal against the margin of the preparation, providing additional retention. The fourth basic crown margin design is the knife edge, also known as feather edge. This prep design is rarely used as it was more popular before the development of high-speed instruments. With this prep, there is no shoulder and is limited to tipped teeth, lower anterior teeth, and teeth that are periodontally involved. Now that we are familiar with how diamonds are used to create crown margins, let's look at some other common uses of dental diamonds. Occlusal reduction can be achieved with a conventional round burr, a football, or chamfer round end taper. Lingual reduction can be performed with a wheel or football. The football diamond is also ideal for contouring anterior crown and bridge. Let's recap the key points. Make tooth preparation simple. The 80-20 rule applies. 80% of preps are cut with 20% of shapes. Break contact and establish depth. Remember the four basic crown preps. Shoulder, chamfer, bevel, and knife edge. Tooth preparation, whether it be crown and bridge, removal of carious tissue, or finishing a restoration, requires a technologically advanced diamond rotary instrument. The two striper will improve the quality of care for your practices. The innovative difference is PBS bonding. The natural diamond crystals are permanently bonded to the shaft, giving them longer life. Uniform distribution and concentration of abrasive particles delivers fast and smooth cutting action. Highly exposed diamond crystals deliver greater cutting area and reduce heat to preserve vital tooth structure. Lower bond height and more interparticle spacing flushes debris, resulting in a cleaner, cooler cut. Deliver the tooth striper distinct difference to your dental offices. Faster, cooler, and longer lasting.